Good evening. Louis. Hi. How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. And you? Good, I'm doing okay, thanks. We're just three, right? Excuse me? Yeah, right now, just three of us. Uh, How was your day? Uh, very busy, very busy at my job. Okay, good. What's the distance from your house to your office? In time or in kilometers? Both. I'm like 10 minutes. Oh, not bad. No, it's very cool. Yeah, you could even go walking. No, not that. that not that, that near. near. Uh, not that near. Uh. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Welcome back, everybody. What time is it? 8.01. 8.01, 8.01, yes. What time is your life skill training? What time is what? Your life skill training. Life skill training. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Okay, who remembers life skill? ¿Quién se acuerda qué significa life skill? Aquí lo vamos a poner. Habilidades de vida. Ajá. Life skill. So on the first day, I explained that English is not a subject. English is a life skill. You see? So English can save your life. English can change your life too. So it's not a subject, it's a life skill. And a life skill is, is literal. You know, it makes you survive better. So life skill. Anyways, welcome back everybody. It's 8.02. What time is your life skill training? At eight. At eight, exactly. What time does your life skill training finish? 10. Good. All right, what's today's date, class? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. How do you spell Tuesday, Louis? T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. Excellent. Ricardo, how do you spell, uh, how do you spell February? Let me see it. F E B R U A R Y. Excellent. What is the date, Janet? It's a uh, two. Two. Is it two or second? Second. Uh, second. Yes. Tuesday, February 2nd, what is the year? 2021. Exactly, 2021, that is correct, yes. All right, so let's begin. Do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? Yes, sir. Uh-huh, can you mention one of the topics? We talked about uh, present simple. Yes. And we studied about uh, affirmative sent statement and negative statement. Exactly. What is the function of the simple present? We talked about uh, daily routine, so facts. No, it's a, it's a combination of subject, verb, and complement. 
Yeah, it's the subject plus verb plus complement. Yes, that is the formula for positive sentences. And like Ricardo was saying, we use the, the simple present to speak about uh, general information, habits, things that happen all the time. When you talk about a typical day in your life, you use the simple present. I wake up at 5 a.m., I take a shower at 6 o'clock, then I go to work, I arrive to my house, to my work, oh, sorry. How do you say Maricar Tarjeta in English? Punch card. Punch card. Si se quedó pensando, Y no se le vino la mente, vuelva a escribir. Write it again. Punch card. Punch card. So punch card is the action that we do to register the time that we arrive to the office. Right? Now, we also mentioned the methods or forms that we use to punch card. Can you mention some of those examples? Uh, like face recognition. Face recognition, yes. What else, people? Fingerprint. 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 Yes, your fingerprint, exactly. Signs. Sign. Sign. How do you say cafete in English? Ahí va para que lo escriba otra vez, mire. Batch. Batch. Levante la mano if you use a batch in your office. ¿Quién más ocupa batch? I use a batch. Antonia. Yes, is your I use. You use a batch, Stephanie? Yes, teacher. Okay, Antonia, do you use a batch? Okay, Jessica Escamilla, do you use a batch? Yes. Good, all right. Yeah, so batch is, is necessary nowadays. You know, it's an internal ID that companies have. Okay, anything else? Está haciendo frío en algunos lugares donde están ustedes ahorita. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Are you in Santa Tecla or places around Santa Tecla? No. No. Because Santa Tecla is usually fresh. Usually. Y hace mucho frío ahí. No. And you where do you live, teacher? I live in Lourdes. Lourdes is hot. No. Lourdes is a hot city. Uh, it's windy, but it's not cold. It's windy, but it's not cold. What's the meaning of windy? Viento. Con viento, exactly. Yes, windy. Vamos a ponerlo ahí. Chicago is the windy city. Yeah. Yeah, city of wind. Yeah, Chicago. You know, in the United States, it's very cold. Very cool. In Estados Unidos, si existe el invierno. Les dije. And, and snow. Yeah. And if there is snow, um, temperatures are very, very low, very cold. It kills people. Kills people. Um, so that's. Remember that in El Salvador, we, we have tropical weather. So we don't have any seasons. We only have the dry period and the rainy period. We don't have summer. We don't have winter. What's the name of, the, of what we have? Summer. Uh-huh. <laughs> we don't have summer. We don't have winter. ¿Cómo se le llama acá? Next. Rainy, the rainy station. Exactly. The rainy, rainy period. Yes. The rainy period. 
Exactly. And the rain. Is the... How do you say seco the... in English? Dry. Dry. Exactly. Dry. So in El Salvador, tenemos la época, el periodo lluvioso y el periodo seco. Pero no hay estaciones. Why but, not? But in, but in, in March, uh, when, when is the, how do you say Semana Santa? Holy Week. Holy Week. Holy Week. Holy Week. Week. Holy Week. Uh -huh. But when is the Holy Week? It's, it's too hot. It's really hot. <laughs> for me, for me, summer, no. Mm, I don't know. No. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a period where it's very hot, you know, hotter than usual. But, you know, it's not really summer and it's not really winter. But anyways. All right. Um, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any, any questions about yesterday? Any questions about yesterday, about the topics that we covered? I I have a doubt. Yes, uh, Rosa. I have a doubt. Yes. Okay. Punch, punch card is the action. Yes? Yes. Is the action, uh, como diría, the, la acción para marcar la asistencia. Take attendance. Okay. And... Um, and, uh -huh. and the finger, the finger, the fingerprints, the face recognizes the point. The how do you say uh, the the fingerprint? The ba badge, oh, badge. Oh, the badge. Uh huh. The yeah. badge. Uh huh. Ah, this, those, or or this? Uh, it depends. You can these use are? both. These are. Oh, okay. Those are. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, these are the. Medians, medians. Means. What do you say? The means. Means. This means. Uh huh. Okay. So these are the means to punch her. Yes. Right. And and okay. what is the objective okay. of punching car? Taking attendance. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Okay. So they are connected. Okay. Okay. They are connected. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Preguntas, Ricardo. Question, teacher. Yes, Ricardo. Uh, could, uh, could you explain the spelling rule of the third person, teacher? Please. Sure, sure, no problem. Okay, this is for everybody. Listen to this. Cuando estamos usando el presente simple, when we use the simple present, uh, what is what is the structure that we use, Luis Martinez, when we're talking about the simple present? Luis Martinez, can you hear me? Yeah, it's um, verb, complement, and uh, Are you I don't sure? remember the third one. Are you sure? Subject. Okay, the subject. Subject is the first, right? Yes. Subject, verb, and complement. Okay. Subject plus verb. Verb plus complement. Plus complement. Complement. Mm -hmm. Right there. <laughs> Subject plus verb plus complement. That is correct. Now, can you mention the names of subjects? <clears throat> what, That's it, right? uh -huh. what are the names of subjects or personal pronouns? I, verb to be. What I, subjects? You, I, you, I, 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 you, she, she it, 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 and they. Excellent. Are you? He, she, it, you, we, and they. ¿Por qué se repite el you two times? Para singular y plural. Excellent. One is singular and the second one is plural. Very good. Thank you. Um, so those are the subjects. Cuando el sujeto es he, she, or it, Entonces, how do you say agregar in English? At. At. Ahí está en el chat, mire. 
cuando el sujeto o el pronombre personal es he, she, it, usted le agrega una S al verbo. Ejemplos. How do you say planchar in English? Iron. 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 How do you say mi hermana plancha mucho? My sister, My sister iron too much. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. My sister irons too much. Mi hermana plancha mucho. Al verbo planchar le pongo S. Why? Porque es tercera persona. ¿Cuál es la tercera persona? He, she, it. Entonces la regla dice que cuando usted menciona a he, she, it en el presente simple, en forma positiva, it is necessary, it is mandatory to add S to the verb. Debe, tiene que. And that's one example. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Pero si el verbo del cual usted está hablando tiene cualquiera de estas seis uh, terminaciones, entonces usted le va a agregar ES al verbo. Is it clear? For example, teacher. Okay. For example, my sister watches TV. Good. Watches. My sister watches watches TV. Yes, please. My sister watches TV. ¿Qué dice ahí? Hermana ve televisión. Uh -huh. Exactly. How do you say mi hija me besa en las mañanas? My, my daughter, daughter kiss me in the morning. Okay, my daughter My daughter what? Kiss me. Kiss me kisses. or kisses? Kisses. Kisses, kisses me. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. I say kisses me. Kisses me in the morning. So, esto es algo que usted debe saberlo. Desde ahorita usted vaya metiéndole que if the information is about he, she, it, it's necessary, mandatory, to put S to the verb. Pero si el verbo termina en una de esas seis, no solo se le pone S, sino que se le pone ES. Yes. Uh -huh. How do you say peinar in English? Brush. Brush. Ah, it's Brush. not comb? Yeah, yeah. Comb is peinar. Brush is cepillar. I meant cepillar. How do you say ella se peina todas las mañanas? She brushes every day. In the every morning. morning. Okay. Every, every morning. She washes I mean, her brushes. hair. Brushes. She brushes her hair. Uh huh. Her hair in the in morning. The morning. Mire, dígale a fulana que se apure que, que ya se peina todas las, se, se peina todas las mañanas. So, she brushes her hair in the morning. Got it? Okay. How do you say te amo in English? Ajá. Uh -huh. It's only a question. No le estoy diciendo que me lo diga. Bueno, bueno, yo entiendo que le pueden decir algo. ¿Qué le estás diciendo? Lo obvio. La retórica. Ok, so you say I love you. Y digamos, usted huye a la pareja que vive a la par suya y se están peleando y le dice, ya no me querés. Y viene él o ella y le dice, sí te amo. How do you say sí te amo en inglés? Yes, I love you. Usted va a decir, y esto es bien importante también, tiene que aprenderlo. Le dice, I do love you. 
I do love you. Why, teacher? Why? Uh, para hacer énfasis en algo. Sí te amo. O si yo le digo, mire, reunámonos el sábado en la mañana. De todas maneras, no trabajan los sábados. Y viene alguien y me dice, sí trabajo los sábados. How do you say that in English? Sí uh, trabajo los sábados. Work. Exactly. I do work on Saturdays. Ahí está. Teacher. Yes, sir. Entonces, eh, en ese caso, eh, puede decirse que el do ya no se ocuparía como verbo, sino como auxiliar. Eh, no. Es una no. combinación que se hace para hacerle hincapié a algo, para subrayar algo. Sí trabajo, sí tengo tiempo, sí te amo, sí le llamo. So, para hacer ese énfasis, you make a combination of do plus the verb. Gracias. Mm -hmm. How do you say, si sí pongo atención en English? I do pay attention. I do pay attention. Mm -hmm. How do you say, si sí le llamo a mis padres? I do call my parents. Yes, I do call my parents. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. So anyways, es un, este es parte del simple present. This is information that, um, that you need to know. Tiene que saber esta información. Any questions or comments? Levanten la mano quienes se conectan desde computadora. One, two, three, Me four, teacher. five. Ok, thank you. Porque en la computadora se le hace más fácil todo, escribir y todo lo demás. El teléfono es, es, es más conveniente, más práctico, pero igual cuesta más a la hora de... Ok. Any questions so far? Preguntas hasta ahorita. Entonces, dijimos, what is the function of the simple present? We use the simple present to talk about general information, to talk about activities in general. Right? Entonces, ayer nos quedamos en un ejercicio que no lo pudimos terminar. Who remembers that exercise? ¿Quién se acuerda de ese ejercicio? Let's see. Okay. Uh -huh. What page were we working on? 20. Page 20, exactly. What was the name of the, the number of the exercise? Activities I do. Activities I do. Very good. So, tenía que escribir cinco actividades que usted hace. My work. In your work. Uh -huh. How do you say saludar in English? Good morning. Greet. How are you? Uh -huh. Greetings. Greet. 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 Greet is saludar. Greetings is uh -huh. saludos. Saludos. So, ahorita solo voy a poner. Yes. Greet. Greet. Ahí está. Greet. What is the first greeting you use in the morning? Good morning. Good morning. What if it's 2 p.m.? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. What about if you want to say buenas noches? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening or good night? Good Which evening. one? Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, let me ask you. What's the difference between good evening and good night? Good night is when we go to the bed. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> Good evening is is for green. <laughs> uh -huh. So good evening is when you are when you see the person. Hey, good evening. How are you? Blah 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 blah. After twenty minutes talking to this person, I said, "Oh, I have to go prepare my dinner. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night." So good evening I, is is to say hello. Good night is to say goodbye. When I left the work, I say good night. Exactly. Exactly. Good night. See you tomorrow. Exactly. Yes. All right. So, what is the first activity you do when you arrive to your office? 
The emails. Okay. You check your email. Check email. Email. Who is the first person that you see when you arrive to your work? Boss. Security boss. The security <laughs> guard. Okay. Yeah, the okay. security guard. The, the first activity is say hello, good, good morning to uh -huh. the security guard. So, right, <laughs> right. You have to yeah. say good morning to everybody in yeah. the office. Everybody. This, Security. Ok, so... Perdón, ¿cómo le dijeron al guardia, perdón? Security guard. Ah, security guard, ok. Yeah. So, you greet, uh, you punch card. I turn on the computer. Ok. Ok, ponga una actividad en el chat, please. Una de las cinco okay. que escribió. Vamos a ver. Okay. Check email, punch card, answer the phone, turn on the computer, turn on the computer, check my mail, I attend people, uh -huh. say hello to my boss. Uh -huh. What else? Vamos a ver. Check my agenda, good. All right. Anybody else? Take a cup of coffee. Do you put sugar in your coffee? I have to do with my colleagues. I chat with my friends, make meetings for my coworkers. Okay, you put sugar, okay. Coffee without sugar is one of the best things you can taste, without sugar. <laughs> okay, very good. So different activities, all right? So you greet people, you um, you punch card, you turn on the computer and so on. Open the mail. Okay, I do exercise with Cobra. Who is Cobra? Caesar. I review and write down. Okay. All right, very good. Es mi mascota. Es mi mascota. <laughs> is it a dog? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Any questions about your first activity? Okay. Escribamos your second activity. Everybody, go ahead in the chat. Second activity in the chat. I do turn on the computer, turn on my laptop. I punch card at 7.15, good. I review quotes of my coworkers. I wear the uniform. I do call the people, uh-huh. Anybody else, alguien más? A ver, a ver. Solo cuatro personas han escrito sus second activities. One, two, five people. Uh -huh. Call my boss. Call my boss. Okay. Uh, all right, good. Any questions or comments about your activities, people? Algo que probablemente no les haya quedado claro, please ask. So, like we were saying at the beginning, para hacer una respuesta completa, una oración completa en inglés, necesita el pronombre personal, el verbo y el complemento. Any questions or comments? No. 
Y como todos ya tienen sus cinco actividades eh, ahí escritas, hoy los voy a poner a trabajar en pareja y vamos a interactuar. We will interact. So here we go. Create. And here we go. Share your information. Share your information. What's the meaning of share? ¿Qué significa share? Hola. Yes. Good Buenas noches. Evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good night. Um, vamos a compartir las cinco actividades, dijo. El, yes. Cuanto al inglés, casi no yo, ¿verdad? Pero le admiro a usted lo, la acentuación y toda la fluidez que tiene. <laughs> Te estoy Lewis, aprendiendo. Luis will help you. Luis will help you. Así es. <laughs> Okay, let me start with the, with the, with your... The final, I do check the information about the people die. I, my first, the first activity that I, that I, I write was I punch card, but really the first activity is with the security guard because he takes uh, the temperature. Number and one. I, and I say, good morning. No. Hello, Antonia. Uh, estoy sola. <laughs> okay. Do you have your five activities, Antonia? Uh, yes. Okay, can you mention the first one? En la uno. Yes. En la uno. Buscar eh, it a a a m. Okay, punch card at eight a m. Good, very good. Number two. Turn on the com computer. Good. Turn on the computer. Excellent. Uh, check my uh, email. Check my email. email. Very good. Uh -huh. uh, send offer to client. Send offers to clients. Clients. Yeah. Yes, clients. I do no sé si factura se dice escribe bill. Uh, bills es bien general. Um, para decir facturas, usted dice invoice. Ahorita se la voy a escribir. Uh, ok. Y ahí se diría I do invoice. I prepare invoice. Preparo facturas. O dice de un solo I invoice. Yo facturo. Sí, el do. Yeah, I invoice. 
O puede poner uh, I do invoice, yes. Ajá. Okay. Right. Invoice. Okay. Yes, good, very good. Bills, no. Bills significa recibos. Ah, uh, ok. Yeah. También significa billete, también significa decreto, tiene varios significados, pero bills um, significa recibo. Ok. Yes, Thank very good. Where do you work, Antonia? Where do you work? Eh, eh, JM Telco. Ok, good. And what is your uh, occupation or profession there? Saleswoman. A saleswoman, a salesperson, salesperson. I sell. Yes, sí, salesperson. Okay. What do you sell there? What products do you sell? Mm, ¿Qué producto no vende? What products do you sell? Eh, huh? um, sería Telecom, telecomunicación, Ajá. equipos de, de redes, tecnología. Yes, okay. Yeah, so you say, um, ahí está en el chat, what products do you sell? Usted me dice, I sell technology. I sell technology. I sell technology. Yes, I sell technology. I sell technology. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. So la voy a mandar a otro a otro salón porque su compañera no sé no sé no sé por qué no se conecta, así que lo voy a enviar a otro. Usted puede decir uh, my, my first activity is punch car before 7 a.m. Después Later, uh, I, I turn on my laptop. Uh, after that, complete my task. Bueno, en mi caso, ¿verdad? Le estoy diciendo lo mismo. Okay. Uh, uh, later, I uh, answer the phone. And finally, I make meeting for my co-workers. Podemos utilizar también ahí los conectores. Eso es lo último que dijo. In final, finally. Así se dice. Sí. In final. Finalmente. En final, make meetings for my co-workers. No sé si le gustaría practicar. Ok. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you today, Jessica? I'm fine. Good. What time do you finish work, Jessica? Um... No la entendí. What time do you finish work? El six. What time do you start? What time do you begin? ¿A qué hora se empieza? Um, Eight. Eight a.m. Mm -hmm. And where do you work? What is the name of your company? Um, JM Telecom. JM oh, Telecom. Okay. Okay. How do you say compañeros de trabajo in English? Co-workers. Co-workers. Excellent. Colleagues? Co-workers. Colleagues too. Mm -hmm. Colleagues too. Yes. So in this group... Hay varios de su compañía, right? Mm, como um, five, quizás. Yeah, yeah. Do you see them during the day? Los yes. ve durante el día. Okay, good. Sí. Nice, <laughs> nice. Good. Caesar, ¿qué se había hecho, Caesar? Es que me ha estado tocando pesado en el trabajo. Ajá. What time do you work, Caesar? It's 24, oh. the 8 8. Okay. Yes. All right. 
So aquí le voy a poner en el chat cómo se dice la palabra turno. ¿Tienen, okay, muchas gracias. ¿Saben cómo se dice turno? Do you know how to say turno in English? Ahí está, se dice shift. So Caesar works 24 hour shift. 24 hour shift. And do you work here in Lourdes too, Caesar? Yes, I work in Lourdes and Church Elin. Oh, yo vivo muy cerca del Elin. Ah, eh, where? I live in Nuevo where? Lourdes. Okay. Yeah, está un par de cuadras. Sí, sí. Exactly, yes. Where do you live, Caesar? I live in Lourdes. Oh, okay, good. Jessica, where do you live? Uh, I live in San Marcos. Oh, San Marcos. What part of San Marcos? Mm, en el centro. Okay. San Marcos. Okay. Cerca de la alcaldía, no. Sí, es a unos metros de la maxi despensa. Oh, good, good, nice, good, excellent. Okay, so let's return to the main session. Vamos a la sesión principal. Okay, welcome back. ¿Cómo les fue compartiendo sus five activities? Fine, teacher. Huh? Fine. Fine, teacher. Yes. Good. Any questions about the five activities? I have a question. Yes, Luis. When you want to say, uh, yo facturo, you can say, I invoice. Yes, I invoice, yes. Or, or I do invoice. Both are good. Uh -huh. Usted puede decir, yo hago facturas o yo factureo. So, I invoice. What's the difference between invoice and bills? Uh, invoice, ¿a quién le acabo de explicar eso? A ver, ¿quién, quién se acuerda? ¿Con quién estaba hablando? ¿Qué le expliqué? Antonia, Antonia. ¿Was it Antonia? Yeah, she told me that. That's why I, I, I curious. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, um, bills son recibos. Invoice son facturas. Ah, ah okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. How do you say turno in English? Es que fíjate que estuve en el turno de la noche. Estoy en el turno de la tarde. How do you say turno in English? Class? Night shift? Uh, okay, si es el nocturno, yes. The Usted night dice shift. night shift. The night shift. La palabra es shift. Shift, okay. Ahí está en el chat, mire. Okay, shift. shift. Si estamos hablando del turno nocturno, como dijo Rosalina, night shift. Night shift. How do you say el turno de la mañana? Morning shift. <laughs> Morning shift. Exactly. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. But, but, but how do you say, yo estuve en el turno de noche, I was on the night shift. I was yes. in the night shift. I was in the okay, night shift. esa es mi segunda pregunta. What is another form to say night shift? ¿Cuál es el apodo que tiene el turno nocturno? Late shift. Maybe, maybe, but it's not lay shift exactly. Night shift. Um, oh. How do you say cementerio in English? Uh, graveyard. Exactly. Okay. So, para decir cementerio, usted dice graveyard. Pero graveyard es el apodo que se le da al turno nocturno. So he said, hey, why are you angry? Man, I, I work graveyard today. Trabajo en la noche. Graveyard. How do you say Apollo in English? Nickname. 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 Excellent. Nickname. So graveyard is the nickname for, uh, for the night shift. Exactly. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they make the comparison, you know, because a cemetery is usually quiet. At night time, apparently it should be quiet, but not necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. Not in a hospital. <laughs> yeah, not in a hospital, not in a police station, you know. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, any questions about the first five activities? 
I have a doubt. Yes, Rosalena. Uh, Osmin, uh, tell, tell me, tell me. Told me? Told me uh, his activities. Okay. And I have a doubt when he said, say me. He told me? He told me, sorry. When he told me uh, que él revisó las instalaciones. Okay. And I say, you check the building. Uh-huh. It's good. Yes, it's good. But building is more specific it's, because it's, building means edificio. In no, si instalaciones of the facilities. Ah, facilities. Okay. Yeah, facilities. I, 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 Pero, perdón, instalaciones como de instalar, no sé, una cámara, un aire acondicionado, algo así. No, las instalaciones haciendo referencia a la propiedad. Ajá, al lugar. Al lugar, correcto. Facilities. Ajá. And how do you say uh, instalaciones de instalar equipos? Installations. Inst ah, installations. Yeah, installations, exactly. Okay. okay. Yep. Okay, any other questions? Okay. I'm sorry, sorry. Yes, sorry. yeah, okay. ask me, please. Ask me. Another, another. Sure. Said, ask me as many questions as you want. He told me, he told me. Uh -huh. He told me that he arrives to the work and he he was without uniform. Okay. When he arrives, he get get, get dressed? Yes. He gets dressed, it's okay. Yeah, he changes actually. He, he changes. changes his clothing. Ah, okay, and this is the activity. He changes his clothing. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. Okay. All right, any other questions? Teacher, me. Yes, go ahead. What is the best solution for the middle question about the activities for a person teacher? Uh, one more time, please. What is the best option? Or to make a question about the activities. Uh, what do you do? In this case. What do you do but in your the... work? Okay. Yeah, or what activities what do, you do? do you do in your work? Okay, thank you. Good. Anybody else? Any other questions? Okay, fíjese bien, esto va para todos. Alguien que me explique cuál es la diferencia entre say y tell. Between what? Say and tell. Ah, say and tell. Say is when I say. And okay. tell is when other people say me so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Someone else? Uh, say is like, say just a sentence and tell is like, tell a, a whole story. <laughs> oh? You're getting there. Okay, say is very general. Tell is when you mention the listener. Entonces, si usted busca say en el diccionario va a decir decir. Tell también le va a decir decir. But in English, they have a different function. ¿Cómo me va a decir? El periódico dice dos por uno. The newspaper told me. The newspaper says. Say. Uh, el verbo say lleva una S. ¿Por qué? La tercera. Porque el, el, the newspaper estamos haciendo referencia a it, the third person singular, right? El periódico dice, ahí no sabe quién lo está leyendo. Ahora usted dice, the supervisor told me I used to keep a tail porque usted estaba oyendo, el mensaje era para usted. Me explico. Por ejemplo, the supervisor told me, el supervisor me dijo, entonces yo tengo que ocupar tell porque estoy mencionando a la persona que está oyendo. Ahora, si el supervisor anda diciéndole, the supervisor says, 
El supervisor dice que la reunión es a las 10. It's in general. It's general. El, el supervisor dice, ahí no está mencionando a quién le dijo, sino que es general. So, si usted menciona a la persona que está recibiendo la información, usted dice tell. Si es general, you say, you, you say, you see the difference? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so any questions about the exercise? Good. Yes, sir. Coffee without sugar, right? <laughs> Coffee without sugar, exactly. Okay. <laughs> but look, but this is not coffee, this is hot chocolate. Oh, man. Without sugar. <laughs> if, if <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if I drink coffee at this time, I suffer insomnia. So I cannot drink coffee at this time. I cannot. <laughs> When we'll finish the class, I take a cup of coffee. Oh my God. I wish I were like you, you know, like, oh, drink coffee, sure, and go to sleep. Now, number one, I like strong coffee. Number two, I don't put sugar, I don't put cream. So it's, a sin. So it's, it's like really, really real coffee. It's a sin. <laughs> yeah. So, it's like the Salvadorian people say, teacher, cafe negro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, black coffee. Black coffee. Yeah. Antes le echaba mucha azúcar al café, dos cucharadas. Y yo decía, qué rico esto, pero not anymore. <laughs> Anyways, any questions about the five activities? No. Okay, recuerde, cuando, when you have a question, please ask. Cuando tenga pregunta, háganos la, revelenos su inquietud. Vamos a pasar lista. When I mention your name, please say present. Dice presente, activa su cámara y aparte de eso, pone present en el chat. Y así queda doble uh, asegurado. Usted dice, Francisco Marroquín, yo digo, present, me está oyendo Insafor, me está viendo Insafor porque activo la cámara y aparte pongo present. Ok. Alicia Hernández Monge. Teacher. Yes. And my camera doesn't work for the moment. Ok. It's ok. Don't worry. Thank you. Alicia Hernández Monge. No. Teacher, teacher, este, yes. quería, quería, perdón, quería comentarle de que este Alicia Miley ya no va a poder entrar porque ha, ha tenido un, un problema personal. Ok, very good, thank you, thank uh -huh. you. Yeah. All right. Uh, César Argueta. César. Where are you, César? Thank you, César. Claudio Osorio. Yes, sister, I got you. Thank you. Claudio Sorio. Absent. Stephanie Martinez. Present. Thank you. ¿Y qué se había hecho, Stephanie? Aquí está un cara, ¿eh? I say the WhatsApp. Okay. I was seeing... Oh, were you the one that went to the dentist? <laughs> hey, uh, no, no, is it Osorio? Oh, okay. All right. Jessica Escamilla? Present. Thank you. Catherine Hueso? Catherine? Present. Okay, can you activate your camera, Catherine, please? Lo que pasa es que, permítame. Presa, teacher. Espérenme, que no me he peinado. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Luis Martínez. Uh, present. Thank you, María Esther Castillo. Present. Ajá, ¿y usted qué se había hecho, señorita? Estaba de vacación. At work. <laughs> ok, thank you. María Gabriela Ramos. 
Maria, Maria. Absent. Marta Alicia Monge. Pres present. Thank you, Marta. Marta Araceli Rodriguez. Mm, absent. Janet Morales. Present. Thank you. Vilma Sorto. Vilma Sorto, she's absent. Sandra Carolina Monge. Uh -huh. Absent. Rosa Maria George. She's absent. Roselena Salgado. Present. Thank you. Ricardo Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Rick. Antonia Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. And Osmin Baires. Present. Thank you very much, people. All right. So let's continue. So um, everybody here has an email, right? Todos tienen correo electrónico. Yes. 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 Okay. How do you say arroba in English? At. 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 Yeah. Very good. At. How do you say guion? Dash. Very good. Dash or? Dash or hyphen. Hyphen, yes. Hyphen, dash or hyphen. Dash en español es el guión mayor. Hyphen es el guión. El guión bajo. No, el guión menor. El guión medio, el guión medio. El me, ajá, correcto. Pero a la hora del correo, ahí no se sabe si es bajo o si es. Entonces se dice de las dos maneras. Dash. How do you say guión bajo? Oh. Evento político hay por ahí. <laughs> It's very common. Porque cuando está terminando el papel se ha currado. Underscore, what is it? Underscore. Underscore, yes. Underscore. Ajá. How do you say punto? Punto el que ocupamos en el correo. Underscore es guión bajo, ¿verdad? Underscore es guión bajo, yes. Y punto. That. 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 Excellent. Vaya, fíjese bien. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio de listening. Les van a mencionar cuatro nombres. Y cada persona va a dar su teléfono y también va a dar su correo en inglés. Perdón, dash es guión medio, ¿verdad? Dash o hyphen es guión. Guión. How do you spell hyphen? Ahí está. H-Y-P-H-E-N. Ah, ok, ok. Hyphen, yes. So, por ejemplo, va a decir, uh, What's your name? Oh, my name is Pedro González. What is your telephone number, Pedro? Ahí Pedro va a dar el teléfono. Usted va a anotar, Pedro González, va a anotar el teléfono que él dé y también él va a dar su correo. Yes. So your mission is to write the name, the telephone number, and the email address. Teacher, cuando yes. vayamos a... Perdón. A deletrear el, bueno, cuando vayamos a, cuando vayamos a dar el correo, lo vamos a deletrear letra por letra o así como se escribe. Eh, depende, si, si usted le está dando su correo a algún latino, por decir así, le voy a, digamos, a mi correo. How do you say mayúscula in English? Uppercase. Capital. Capital. Capital letters. Capital. Fíjese, lo voy a poner otra vez. Capital letters. Ok, capital okay. letters. Si se le olvidó, vuélvalo a escribir. Capital letters. How do you say minúsculas? Lowercase. Lowercase. Excellent. Lowercase. So ahí está, mire. 
Capital letters, lowercase. Entonces, volviendo a la pregunta, si yo estuviese dándole mi correo a alguien que hable español, yo le diría FCO J Marroquín, porque deduzco que toda la gente sabe cómo se escribe Marroquín, 280 a gmail.com. Ahora, si es alguien que no habla español, probablemente Marroquín va a ser la primera vez que lo oye, tengo que irme letra por letra. Yes. Any questions? Pregunta. ¿Cómo se decía minúscula? Lower what? Lowercase. Lowercase. Mm -hmm. Ok, are you guys ready? Fíjese bien, yeah. le, voy a, le voy a mandar un link ahí al WhatsApp group. Usted va a abrir ese link. Lo va a abrir al minuto 11.50. Fíjese bien, porque el audio es bastante largo, pero el ejercicio que usted va a hacer aparece en el minuto 11.50. Ahí lo puse en el chat. Entonces, al minuto 11.50, usted lo pone. You listen to the four names, four emails, en four phone numbers. Entonces, usted lo va a copiar con papel y lápiz, los cuatro nombres, los cuatro teléfonos, los cuatro emails. Cuando usted termine, le toma foto a ese, a ese trabajo y me lo envía a mi número. No al chat, sino que a mi número. ¿Estamos bien? I don't have your number. Ok, ahorita se lo pongo. Para los que todavía no están en WhatsApp. Ahí está en el chat. 79-88-6261. That's your number or the WhatsApp group? No, that, that's my telephone number. Teacher. Yes? Okay. Can you repeat the activity, please? Sure. Uh, I'm going to send you a link to the WhatsApp chat. Abre el link al minuto 11.50. En el... Um, en el audio usted va a oír cuatro nombres, con cuatro teléfonos, con cuatro correos electrónicos. Entonces usted me va a copiar exactamente eso. Y se lo vamos a enviar en su WhatsApp. Exactly. Y no, no se preocupe cómo lo escribe, si lo escribe bien, si lo escribe mal. Pero I want to make sure de que estamos intentando lo que nos estamos exponiendo al idioma. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, give me a second. Uh -huh. Vamos a irnos acá. Right here. Let me open the place where I have this audio. Okay. Give me a second, permítanme. Copy. And, vamos a ver. Um, right here. Vaya, ahí está el link 
en el WhatsApp chat. CD1. Unit 1. It's nice to meet you. Page 2, exercise 1. Recuerde, tiene que abrirlo al minuto 11.50. Part A. Eh, teacher, eh, no yes. sé si puedo. Eh, perdón, ¿verdad? Si voy yeah. a molestar a alguna persona. Pero no. puede poner como en silencio. Sí, ¿no? ahorita. Y lo que sí, pasa claro. es que sincronizó. No, claro, claro que sí. Uh -huh. Ahorita voy a. Ahorita se lo estoy enviando a Caesar. Ok. Regresamos con los participantes. Los pongo en mudo a todos. Y ahí vamos. Go ahead. Take your time.
Three more minutes, class, three more minutes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Any questions about the exercise? I guess. Sure. Yes, sir. Can I send a letter because I have uh, some problems on my computer? Sorry. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so let's continue. Los que no terminaron por alguna razón pueden hacerlo mañana y me lo envían en el transcurso de la mañana. Lo que me Thank interesa you. es que todos nos estemos uh, exponiendo al idioma. Aunque mire, yo solo entiendo el 10%. Yo lo encuentro, yo solo entiendo el 20%. That's, that's how it is. So, fíjese bien. Uh, dijimos words, chunks, Sentences. Ahí está en el chat, mire. Words, chunks, sentences. ¿Qué digo ahí? Words, chunks, sentences. What is the meaning of chunks, teacher? Cuando va a Buffalo Wings le ofrecen chunks, ¿qué le sirven? Alitas. No. No, como. Portions. 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 So chunks means portions. Entonces, ¿a qué quiero decirle? 
cuando estamos leyendo o escuchando un audio, al inicio vamos a empezar entendiendo palabras. Palabras, así. Ah, reconozco esta, aquella y bueno. Después de tanto estar absorbiendo palabras, usted empieza a entender chunks o a producir chunks. Y después de tanto estar digeriendo chunks y produciendo chunks, ahí empieza usted a producir las, las oraciones completas. So it's a process. Es un proceso. Entonces, si en el, en el, en el listening activity usted solo escucha palabras, no hay problema. That's fine. A nadie le estoy diciendo, mire, me lo mandan bueno. No, o sea, solo quiero ver que, que están tratando y que se están metiendo con el idioma. Y así poquito a poco, poquito a poco, poquito a poco. Todos los que están en intermedio pasaron por básico. Todos los que están en, 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 en avanzado pasaron por básico. So, that's, that's how it is. All right, let's continue. Ok, so we are on page 21. Mm -hmm. How many days are there in the week? Five. Seven. There are, no, we, seven. There are five. Seven. 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 Uh -huh. So, uh, algunas personas dicen la semana empieza el domingo, otros dicen que empieza el lunes. No importa, mm -hmm. pero hay siete días y eso nadie lo puede negar. There okay. are seven days in the week. Okay, in El Salvador, how do you say días hábiles? Días hábiles, ¿ha? Weekdays. Uh, ah, it could be. Pero acuérdese que un día hábil es cuando usted trabaja y qué tal si le cae un holiday miércoles. Me explico. Entonces usted dice working day. Working days. Yeah. Working day significa día hábil. In El Salvador, what is the first working day? Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. What is second? Tuesday. 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 Number three? Wednesday. 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 Number four? Thursday. Thursday. Number five? Friday. 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 Number six? Saturday. And number seven? Sunday. Sunday. Okay. So we have weekdays. What's the meaning of weekdays? Día de semana. Día de semana. How do you say fin de semana? Weekend. Weekend Excellent. Weekend. Mm -hmm. And how do you say días no hábiles? Non working days. Non working day. Usted dice, ah, fíjese que según el calendario, nosotros necesitamos el material eh, el 2 de marzo. Ah, pero 2, 2 de marzo cae domingo, en Sunday is a non-working day. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, Teacher. Yes, sir. We can say day off, maybe. Well, day off es un día libre, pero su día libre no necesariamente tiene que ser un holiday. Day off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can say day off, yes. Thank you. Oh, all right, so what do you see in the picture? What's in the picture? Two women. Page 21. Two women, yes. Yes, page 21. Two women. What is the first woman wearing? What is she wearing? An orange. An orange sweater. What about the hair? What color is the hair? Brown. Brown. Okay. Brown. Okay. How old do you think she is? 36, 35. Okay. All right. What about her hair? Is it curly? No. Wait. No. Straight. 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 Okay, what about the other woman? What is she wearing? Wearing a pink sweater. A purple. Purple, sweater. purple sweater. Purple sweater. What else? What else? 
a glasses. Glasses. He's wearing glasses. He's wearing glasses. What color are the glasses? Red. 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 What color is the hair? Brown. 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 How do you say cuadro in English? Cuadro decorativo? Picture. picture. Ah. Okay, you can say picture or you can say frame. Frames. Square. Frames. Frame. Square means cuadrado. But cuadro, you say frames. Hey, nice frames you have here. Nice pictures you have here. Okay. Where are they? Where do you think they are? In a lobby hotel. Okay, in a hotel lobby? Hotel lobby. Okay. Do you see the walls? Mm, no. What <laughs> color are the walls? White. White and white. what? White and black? Light blue. Maybe. Okay, yeah, they're <laughs> color white. Okay. <laughs> So now we go with the conversation. I'm going to read the conversation one. You pay attention. If you identify vocabulary you don't know, you write it down. It goes like this. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who's Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy. And on weekends? All right. Arranges. 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 Where is yes, the arranges. Where is the meaning word papers? Uh... What's Where? the word? Bookkeeper, teacher. Oh, bookkeeper. What Tenedor is a bookkeeper de class? Tenedor de libro. Yes. It's related with accounting. Uh huh. What else? Uh, arranges, teacher. Arranges. Arranges. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She organizes. Arrange. Can you say me the pronunciations about? How oh, how is one paper paper I don't know. Uh where? And uh, Cindy said on Wednesday they sent some email to the bookkeeper, bookkeeper. to the bookkeeper. Oh, bookkeeper. Yes. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. All right. What else? Um, schedule. 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 Okay, listen carefully. Schedule. 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 Yes. What's the meaning of schedule? Horario. Mm -hmm. Yep. Her schedule is very tight. What's the meaning of tight? Apretada. Apretado, exactly. Tight. 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 Her schedule is very tight. Tight. Yeah, tight. Apretada o sería llena en este caso, no sé. Eh, no. Apretada, apretada. Apretada. O sí. sea, sí, sí, se, sí se usa apretada. Ya. Yeah. ¿Y si o... digo me quedan apretados los zapatos? Okay. Lo mismo. My shoes are tight. Lo mismo. Yes. Are tight. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. The same meaning. The same meaning, exactly. Any other questions, class? What is the meaning of BC? What's BC? Ocupado. Ocupado. Exactly. Any questions about the conversation? No? Okay, so now it's time no. for you to practice this conversation. So los voy a poner en pareja con una persona diferente. Um, recreate. Uh, six. And room six, all right. So toman 
turnos leyendo. Si digamos yo estuviese trabajando con Catherine Hueso, yo empiezo leyendo a Janet y a Cindy. Cuando terminamos, yo voy a ser Cindy y ella va a ser Janet. Here we go. Hello, teacher. Yes, Maria. Mm. Puede, puede okay. entrar al salón número dos usted. No. Eh, ahí tendría que aparecerle una opción donde le dice entrar al salón 2 con ID sorto.
A saber, hasta a mí me cuesta leer y pronunciar las cosas. Me cuesta todo. Ay, si al principio estaba algo aturdida. Ay. Y, o sea, ella estaba en otras, eh, en otras sesiones. De, de ahorita, de estas clases. Sí. Sí, usted es primera vez que se conecta. Sí. Ah, de María, sí, María. Hello. Hello, teacher. ¿Y por qué se conecta hasta ahorita, María? Lo siento, chit. Y es que toda la semana estuve saliendo muy tarde del trabajo. Where do you work? Estamos... Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabaja? Eh, se llama Protni, Productos Minerales e Industriales, pero estábamos en semana de cierre. Ok. Ya de hoy en adelante pero... ya no se va a ausentar. No, claro que no. <ríe> Necesito okay. aprender. <ríe> ok, good. Está bien. Welcome to the class. Where do you live, Maria? Where do you live? I, I live in the Ilopango city. What part of Ilopango? The Colonia Santa Lucia. Okay. What part of Santa Lucia? Um, for the school Kennedy. Oh. Yo por ahí viví 14 años. De verdad. Yeah. Viví en el pasaje N. Yo vivo en el pasaje O. En el O. Sí. Really? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, good. What is your house number? Uh, 31. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what a small world. What? What a small world. Que mundo I don't pequeño. understand. Que mundo más pequeño. <laughs> yes. And what's the distance from your house to your work, to your office? Um, very, very. Far yeah. or near? I. Far. Lejos. Far. Lejos. Very, very far. Where, where is your company? Where is your work? Oh, is. Colonia Escalón. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is far. It is far. Yeah, especially Boulevard del Ejército. No, I know. Yeah. A lot of traffic. <laughs> A lot of traffic. Yes. Okay. Good. Very good. Nice. Nice talking to you, Maria. Okay. <laughs> And you, Janet. Okay. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I had many things to this group. Products. How are you? How are you? ¿Cómo están? Fine. Good. Okay. ¿Cómo van digeriendo todo lo, lo que estamos viendo? Good. Good. That's it. Good. Yeah. Cuando sientan algo que no, no entienden o necesiten otra explicación, contáctenme a, a mi número y con gusto lo hago. Okay. Thank yeah. you. So, este es solamente el inicio de todo. So, desde ahorita tienen que ir acostumbrándose a, a exponerse al idioma lo más que puedan para que eh, el, el proceso acelere. Yes. Did you finish with the conversation? Yes, I finished. Okay. Where do you live? Uh -huh. Yeah. I am uh, really Janet. Uh -huh. Janet. And only the. Huh? <laughs> In a yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, you're the real Janet. Exactly. <laughs> the and, real. And, and Antonia will be Cindy. 
Cindy. Yes. <laughs> Where do you live, Janet? In Lourdes. Lourdes. What part of Lourdes? Uh, near to the... Um, town de Lourdes. Near to... Down, downtown Lourdes. Downtown de Lourdes. Oh, okay. Are you a seamstress, uh, Janet? Sorry? Are you a seamstress? No. You're not a seamstress? No cose usted. No, my my mother is a seamstress. Oh, good, good, nice. What then, about, uh, huh? uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Modista. Yeah, modest. It's a modest. Yeah. A modest. Good, good, nice. ¿Y usted no aprendió nada de costura? ¿O sí? Sí puedo utilizarlas, pero que yo voy a hacer una prenda, no puedo. Ok, all right. What about you, Antonia? Where do you live, Antonia? Uh, I live... I took Stereke. Ok, you say el escorial? No. Uh, Santísima Trinidad. Oh, ok. Yo viví en la Santísima, too. En serio. Yeah, in building K, en el edificio K. Ahí en la entrada de la colonia. Eh, son los dos edificios que están así solos a la izquierda. Oh. Entrando a la colonia están a la izquierda. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. Where do you live? What part of la Santísima? Eh, part two. Ok. Ahí por el redondel. Antes. Ok. Good, good. Nice. ¿Y cuánto tiempo lleva viviendo ahí? How much time have you been there? Mm. Years. ¿Cómo se dice 2004? <laughs> Since 2004. 2000. 2004. 2004. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, good. Okay. Ya lleva, ¿qué? 16 años ahí o 17. Aproximadamente. Ok, ya, ya es un ratito. Ya. Ok, mi abuela fue quien compró ahí cuando todavía, mire, recuerdo como el día de ayer yo la acompañé a ver el proyecto cuando todavía no habían construido nada. Nada. Oh. Yeah. Y, y ella creyó y compró y... Y ahí estuvimos un rato viviendo. Ya no, ya no tiene su abuela el apartamento. No, no, fíjese que cuando estuve ahí se puso algo, algo feo, realmente se puso algo feo. Entonces eh, mucha gente empezó a vender y la gente hasta a rematar los, los, a, los apartamentos. Pero después se calmó, después dicen que, que tranquilo ahí. Fue como una temporada porque sí recuerdo que hubo un tiempo que sí se puso feo. Ajá. Pero ahorita está bien, bastante tranquilo. Uh -huh. Yo fui hace como dos o tres meses y tranquilo. Sí, y ahorita ya siento que está, sí hubo una temporadita que sí se puso feo, pero ya ahorita están bastante calmados los, los chicos. Sí, sí. <risa> bueno, nice talking to you. Placer haber hablado con ustedes sí. dos. Good. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Did you finish with the conversation? Yes. Okay, good. So let's return to the main session. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go to our last activity. Vamos a ver. Any questions about the conversation? No. No. Yes. 
Ok, voy a mencionar a las personas que estuvieron ausentes en la primer, la primer llamado. Alice Hernández Monge. No. Claudio Osorio Alvarado. No. María Gabriela Ramos. No. Marta Araceli Rodríguez. No. Rosa María George, she's absent. Sandra Carolina Monge. No. En Vilma Sorto. Present. Thank you, Vilma. All right, so let's continue. So how do you say horario in English? Schedule. Schedule, very good. All right, so I need a volunteer to read the instructions in part three, please. Fair work. Read the conversation again to complete the chart with information. Mm -hmm. Also, what other activities you think it does in other days of the week? Thank you. All right, so listen to this. Uh, tiene que leer otra vez la conversación según los días que le mencionan en la conversación te lo va a llenar acá los días que le queden en blanco usted debe de opinar qué es lo que probablemente hace la persona I'm sorry I don't understand I heard like a TV sí vamos a ver ¿Quién, ¿Quién está con la televisión? Vamos a ver. Ok. So listen to this. You have to read the conversation again. Basado en la información que encuentra en la conversación, usted y en el horario. Le van a quedar días en blanco. Entonces ahí le piden a usted de que imagine qué es lo que probablemente hace en esos días que están en blanco. Is it clear? Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go. Ya casi no vamos. Ya casi no vamos.
Have you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, what does Katie do on Monday? She makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports. Okay, good. What does she do on Tuesday? I think that for the Tuesday, she comes early and work until 2 p.m. Okay, she comes early and she works until 2 p.m. Okay. Janet, what do you think she does on Wednesday? She sends some emails to the bookkeeper. Okay, good. Roselena, what does she do on Thursday? Maybe she has to prepare document, okay. documentation. Yeah, documents. Document, documents for the Friday meeting. Okay. What does she do Friday? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. Huh? She arranges meetings. She arranges meetings. She okay. arranges meetings. Yes. Can I say my sentences? Sure. Ah, okay. Friday, she check. She check every follow up from salesperson about the quote of the week. Okay, that's possible. What does she do Saturday? It's her day off. Okay, it's her day off. Okay. What about Sunday? Maybe, uh, maybe she, she busy her TV. <laughs> She stays at home. She stays at home, she watches television, <laughs> she visits her family, different things. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop here. Thank you very much for the two hours you dedicate to the class. We continue tomorrow. Have a good night. See you, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Have a good bye. night. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Bye bye.